when your hair is done, you know, when you're feeling good. So I can't wait. <laughs> back to another video um, my name is Renee I upload every Tuesday and Saturday so subscribe hit that like button comment you already know but basically um, today I basically wanted to show you guys like my I don't even know what's called this video you'll clearly know what it is by the time that it comes out but I'm considering it kind of like a hair product tour where I kind of show you guys like the hair products that I use most often um, me something about me I'm a hair product junkie like my hair is like a very big aspect of my I don't want to say personality but like my hair is basically the only thing I really care about in terms of my appearance like I don't really care about makeup like I, I do what I have to do to like enhance my face but I don't like I'm not like a makeup junkie but I'm definitely a hair junkie everything hair and I love extensions I love hair color I love hair care I love natural hair care I love styling with you know i just love hairstyling so i'm really passionate about this and i wanted to show you guys like what i have personally in like my little collection um i did just move so like i would say that from where i was living before i definitely had like way more products back then but i've kind of like narrowed it down to the products that i use um pretty much not every day but like for the most part depending on like what kind of hairstyle i'm doing so i'm going to just show you guys like what i have in front of me um there's going to be a lot of products left out and you know i'm sorry to those products but i'm just going to talk about what i have today here with me so i don't really know how to organize this i'm just going to kind of show you guys like i have like a, a bin right this doesn't belong in there I have like a bin that I keep on my dresser and I kind of just like reach in and take whatever I'm using that day for my hair. So I'm going to just show you guys what's in that bin and I'm going to show you guys like what I have in my closet because I keep like all my hot tools and stuff that I don't really use that often in there. And um, I will say that I do mostly use the hot tools on like my extensions and stuff and I try not to use it on my hair, especially because I'm like on a hair journey. Um, if you guys want to know more about my hair journey and like all that happened in that aspect of my life because it has been a journey for sure then i'll make a video for you guys but yeah without any further ado and any more rambling let me show you guys what i have in my little hair product collection currently um i have definitely sized down so keep that in mind okay i'm sorry if it's not like od impressive but period so all right let's get into it so um let me take out my makeup and stuff okay so something that i bought recently that i really enjoy and that my friend put me on to is the frizz buster from fantasia and before this product um yes the cap came off yeah i don't even know how i just break everything but whatever so i use this frizz buster basically as like a hair shine and i do feel a difference like even in hairstyles like this where it's just a bun like my hair is like shiny and like really neat and like put together and my hair doesn't look dry or anything and it also just like makes my hair feel more like you know voluptuous even though it's a little bit damaged right now it's basically i treat this as a hair shine and i really really enjoy it and i wasn't using a hair shine before but i will say that i have so many products that basically um have that effect in the end like if i use them correctly but this has been a really nice addition to like my hair styling routine and it's basically a hair shine but it does say that um you know it helps with frizz heat damage chemically treated hair and it transforms it to a smooth resurfaced shiny healthy look and feel protects and strengthens hair preventing further damage so it's not a heat protective by any means but it is like a repairing kind of hair shine kind of product so i really have been enjoying this um, the next product that I did talk about in my satin rollers on natural hair is this olive oil mousse and girl this product has been something that I've wanted to try for a long time like I had it in the back of my mind because I've seen it in so many like videos um, even with girls just trying to like style their wigs and kind of like set the part and stuff they use products like this or like other foam mousses but this one was accessible to me so I bought it for that um, for that roller set that I did in that video, I'll link it somewhere on the screen. But I really do enjoy it, and also I will say that it smells so good. It smells like almost like a powder. Um, 
And yeah, it says it defines curls and twist styles. It's used with coconut oil for restorative shine. Tames frizz, adds body, and fast drying. So I actually will just, if I'm trying to like wear my hair out, my natural hair, I'll even just put it in my natural hair and kind of scrunch it up. And I do think it really defines my curls. Um, it does make it a little bit like um, of a hairspray gel effect where it gets a little bit hardened. But if you like play with it, then you can kind of make it like softer. And this is something that I've really been enjoying. So this mousse for the win. And then... My good old Eco Styler, I use the olive oil Eco Styler pretty much every single day. Um, and it lasts me a long time. This isn't even the full size one, so I can't even imagine how long the full size one would last me. But I like the olive oil one. I know there's like so many different kinds. I even went to the pharmacy and saw a unicorn one with glitter in it. And I was really tempted to buy it, but I was like, you know what? Let me finish the one that I have at home before I go crazy. Because, like, you don't want to have so many things that you don't use around. That's, like, how you create clutter. And something that I'm really big on now is reducing clutter. So I only, like, really use what I need. And this is something that I need. I cannot go without this. I can't go without Eco Styler. It's my favorite gel. When I use other gels, I'm like, mm, not the same. And also I like how when it dries out and you take it out of the style, your hair is, like, nice and soft and kind of, like smoothed out so i really enjoy this gel i miss nothing new here um i use it on my i use it on my edges sometimes i used it today but on my edges what i really really like to use is dun, dun, dun. this is my favorite edge control now and it's the cream of nature um argan oil perfect edges extra firm hold edge control and yeah you guys can see how much i use it and basically what i really really like about this um edge control is that it lasts all day. It really does last all day. Um, the other one, I used to use the one from this brand, Ors, and it's the olive oil one, and I really did enjoy it, but I just feel like this one right here just won my heart because it stays all day, and I never had any edge control do that for me, even through, like, sweat and stuff, so this is, like, really strong. Um, I will say that, like, with most edge controls, if you use it too much of it, then it gets kind of clumpy and kind of, like, you know, iffy. You have to kind of wash it out, but... I really, really enjoy this one, and I even use it when my hair is straight and stuff to like lay it down, make it nice and pretty. So yeah, I love this edge control. Yeah, so these are a couple of like my recent favorite products. It's something that I've been using for a long time. It's the Chi Silk Infusion. Um, basically, it has this fancy title, Silk Reconstructing Complex, but... I use it for, um, when I didn't have a hair oil, I would use it for hair shine sometimes, but the primary use that I use this for is for when I'm straightening my hair because it's a heat protectant. So I feel like when I use this and I straighten my hair, um, I never really knew how to straighten my hair and keep it straight. Like every time I straighten my hair, it would frizz up like super fast. But um, when I started using this, when I started, basically my straightening routine is I will put this in my hair all over my hair when it's like damp and then I'll blow dry it with the comb attachment and then I'll flat iron it and when I flat iron it before I flat iron it I apply even more of this but I will say that you have to be careful with how much of this that you use because um, if you put too much and you straighten your hair it kind of gets weighed down and it's not as like fluffy and you know blow outy so um, but I will say that I really really enjoy this product. Um, it is a bit pricier for like a drugstore product But I would say that it's worth every penny I was even on vacation one time in Miami and they had like a travel size one in the pharmacy And I definitely picked that up and it made such a big difference when I blew out my hair So I really enjoy this product and this is the only heat protectant that I use right now But I do remember using another one that was like silk something and I don't know I really like that one too, but I haven't found that I mean, I'm sure it's in my local beauty supply, but I just haven't, like, whatever. I have this one already, that's the point. Um, yeah. So, let's get into Shea Moisture. I'm using the Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask with sea kelp and argan oil. And, okay. So, I love Shea Moisture, absolutely. And this smells like... It's a subtle smell. I don't even know how to classify it. It's not one of those like super fragrant kind of Shea Moisture products. Um, so I bought this, right? And this is the mask. And I thought I would love it because I liked the conditioner from this brand, I think. It was either a conditioner or a leave-in conditioner, but I really, really, really liked it and enjoyed it. But um, this hair mask, it doesn't do the same thing for me that the conditioner did. Like when I found the conditioner, um, 
my hair is in a different kind of place now it's really damaged from like the color and stuff so it's been hard for me to kind of find products that work on my hair as it is right now so when i found the conditioner and it like really responded well to my hair i was like super excited and i was like yo this whole line's about to be great it's about to give me like life and then i got this mask and i don't know what it is but it does not do the same thing for me that the conditioner does so that's why it's like still kind of here like if when i really love a product it's basically gone but um, I'll kind of just like use this sometimes whenever, you know, maybe I'm running out of other stuff. But I like the conditioner, so I wish I had it here with me to show you guys. But basically just know that that product, if you have damaged hair, is amazing. Okay, um, the next product that I'm going to show you guys is the Aussie Instant Freeze Mousse. Um, so I will say, I don't always use mousse on my natural hair, but I use mousse when I have like curly extensions in either a ponytail or like a bun. I use this to kind of like bring the curls back. So I keep this on hand for like my extensions and stuff. I don't really use it on my natural hair. Um, the only one that I kind of use on my natural hair is this one, like I mentioned before. Okay. Um, and then these are just like kind of like hair accessory type things. I keep bobby pins on me um, I have a bunch like when I actually put them together and put them all back on this thing It fills all the way up, but you know how easily bobby pins kind of fall away But I have bobby pins on hand all the time because they just fix everything They just fix every hairstyle, you know I feel like I have to be I can be less careful more free when I'm styling my hair because I always have a bobby pin To fix my mistakes, so I always keep bobby pins with me and then I always keep rubber bands as well because um, Whether you're doing like overnight braids or you know, you're doing a little braid to like do a ponytail These are really really useful and even like for the front rubber banded ponytail kind of looks I feel like these are really really useful and you know You never know when you're gonna want to braid your hair So I always keep rubber bands on me. I normally get like the bigger packs like the plastic ones, but um I remember on this day I was looking for them and I saw them in the pharmacy and I was like why not so I keep these on hand and then um <clears throat> Okay, yeah, so now let's get into my Olaplex little collection. So in my video for um, Sephora Get Ready With Me Trying New Products, I showed you guys how I got the holiday set for Olaplex and I still highly recommend the holiday set of the Olaplex items because um, it comes out to around like 60 something dollars and individually these little is expensive. So that set is actually a really good deal. Um, this is my if you were to get one product from olaplex i would recommend this one right here the olaplex number three hair perfector repairs and strengthens all hair types and this is the hair mask and i do see a difference when i use this hair mask and i kind of like leave it in my hair for however long um as you can see it's pretty much almost finished but this is my favorite product from olaplex and then um this one is one that i tried for the first time it's the bond smoother it's the Bond Smoother number no. 6 and leave-in reparative styling cream. So this is more of like leave-in conditioner vibes. And um, although I do like it a lot, I still prefer this one more. I feel like it makes my hair like more silky and more like manageable. Whereas this one uh, doesn't quite do the same. But I will say that like if I have it in a style and I leave this in my hair, my hair feels soft when I take it out. So what else can you ask for from a product really? And then I have the shampoo and the conditioner in my shower. And I liked the conditioner a lot. That one went really fast, as you can imagine, because I basically co-wash my hair every single day. And the conditioner is still there, so yeah. But um, I will say that when I wasn't using these, my favorite conditioner was the Aussie um, Moist Moisture one. I'm not sure what, it, what it's called, but it's the Aussie conditioner. I really love that one, and, it, and my hair really responds well to that. And then I'm going to... This one is kind of hard to show you guys, but if you guys watched my... And it smells so good. Oh, I got on my lip. Oh, great. <laughs> um, basically, if you guys watched my Friday night vlog video, um, I had gone to my aunt's house and she blew up my hair and she made me a hair mask, like from scratch. And it has like 10 ingredients. Um, I don't know exactly what they are off the top of my head, but if you go to that video, if you just want to skip around, um, you'll definitely be able to find what she used. But this is the holy grail mask that i had used in my hair that literally gave me i was going to cut all my hair off because it was so damaged but when i used this mask it totally brought my hair back to life it gave it shape gave it like vitality bounce shine everything so i it's in a title bottle because she put all the ingredients in here but it's absolutely like 
finished i used this i even scraped it out when it was finished that's how much i loved it but um i know that it basically has like vitamin e oil and like five other oils and then like the argan oil um silicone mix i know there's mixed reviews on silicone mix don't come for me but it has the argan oil silicone mix and then it has like one spanish product that i forgot the name of but all of those combined just brought my hair to life so i really really love that and i would use it like twice three times a week honestly i would use it like every day i'm not even gonna lie to you guys so yeah these are like the products that i keep on hand in terms of like hair products like hair products yeah i don't know so yeah those are what i have in front of me and then i'll show you guys like the hair brushes that i use don't judge me because they're gonna look really like you know hairy i guess but you know i always keep um a hard brush on deck and this one is just from conair i really like it it does the job and when i couldn't find this when i moved i had bought myself another one from the beauty supply store and it's just a purple one but i will say that the conair hard brush is like way harder than this one but this one is still high you know what i mean it still like does the job and it's purple so hello and then um you know you have to keep a rat tail comb on deck and it's good for like parting your hair and you know the rest but i always keep a rat tail comb on deck and then i always have a um wide tooth comb for just like detangling my hair when it's wet and stuff because you're not really supposed to use um i don't know if it's like good to comb out your hair when it's wet or whatever but i know that a, a wide tooth a wide tooth comb is better and um and then i have my you know my edges brush my faithful edges brush and this is basically like my little um brush everyday brush collection i keep it in this cup and i keep it on my dresser right here not my dresser but like you know my ratchet vanity that i just put a table and a mirror on top you know the vibes but yeah those are basically like my on oh how could i forget i definitely have one of those spray bottles <laughs> why would i do that okay anyways i don't know why i would do that i was just trying to be funny i definitely keep one of these on deck this is basically like to refresh your hair refresh your curls um just make your hair easier for styling if you have curly hair you know how hard it can be when your hair is already dry and like matted up and you slept on it and you look crazy this is what you need and it's just so much easier to use a spray bottle than to go to the bathroom wet your hair do all that have it dripping go back to your room put a towel on like this is just way more easy to use so i'm happy i bought this and i actually just got this recently i had ordered one from amazon and it was so stupid like it's the one that everyone has it's like a mister but like the little plastic thing in the middle like deflated within like the first month that i had it and then i wasn't able to use it again so these ones are faithful from the beauty supply store i recommend these kinds and um yeah it lasts for a long time when you put water in it i haven't had to run back to put my water in it since i got it which was like a month ago so this is definitely essential okay so these are like my essential everyday kind of hair products that i use but Shall we get into extensions and shall we get into hot tools? Let's do it. So, um, yeah, let's get into hot tools first. This is the flat iron that I use and it's the Bionic, Bionic 10X Pro Styling Iron. And this is like one of those like really bougie flat irons and I don't know what made me buy it. I think it was like in quarantine when I was just like super bored at home, not knowing what to do with myself that I bought this. But this right here, honey, is like probably the best flat iron I've ever used. And I went through a phase where I would flat iron my hair a lot. I'm not proud of it, but in high school, I was like obsessed with straightening my hair. We all know, we, we all have our own journey when it comes to our hair, okay, don't judge. But this, now I'm better. I don't straighten my hair every single day. But when I do want to straighten it and I want to, you know, pin straight, I use this flat iron. It looks like this. It's a very like skinny kind of flat iron and yeah it does the damn thing it heats up to like four higher than 450 i think which isn't good don't do that in your natural hair but yeah i love it um it's lasted me since march no problems so far so this has been like the key to getting my hair pinned straight and i use it on my extension sometimes the only thing i will say about this is that um i don't know how to curl my hair with it yet and normally i'm pretty good with like curling my hair with flat irons but i haven't been able to figure it out with this which makes me a little bit sad, but maybe one day I'll figure it out. Speaking of curling irons, 
this is basically the curling iron that I use every single time my hair is curled. And I do want to play around with doing a different type of curls because when you have a barreled curling iron, um, it definitely gives you like a specific kind of like tight curl kind of look, especially with how thin this one is. But if you see me with my hair curled, nine times out of ten, I use this curling iron. And it's from Hot Tools. Um, I don't know the exact name because I've had it for forever, but it gives me them like you know ring like curls that are like thinner at the end and bigger at the top and yeah if you see me with my hair curled i have used this and this is basically very very essential to me um i'll use it on my clip and extension sometimes when i have a curly ponytail and stuff so these are key and then this one is like one of my more recent purchases which again i will attribute to quarantine and me being bored as hell at home but look at this <laughs> it's basically like a hair crimper and i don't use this on my natural hair but when it comes to extensions and stuff, um, it definitely gives you like that crimped out kind of, you know, wavy kind of like shark tail kind of vibes. Have you seen shark tail with the girl with the red hair? She has the, the fish with the red hair, I should say. And she has like that crimped out like red hair kind of look. That was so inspiring to me buying this. And um, yeah, I basically just like crimp out my hair sometimes if I'm not like trying to commit to like a curly hair kind of look or a curled hair look i should say i crimp my hair with this kind of thing and it gives me like you know really uniform kind of waves um and it's really self-explanatory how to use it you kind of just like crimp it go down crimp it go down crimp it go down and this i will say is primarily for my extensions speaking of extensions let me get into it so basically um, my favorite kind of extensions are like, you know, sew-ins. I love sew-ins. They're comfortable for me. Very like low maintenance, I would say, compared to like wigs and clip-ins and stuff like that. So most times when you see me with like my hair long, I have a sew-in. But, um, I do keep some other dangs on me. I keep, um, my bundles from like previous sew-ins. Just for like making your hair more full and like long ponytails and stuff, I keep them on hand. But... You know they're gonna be tossed soon because they're kind of getting to that point but i keep those on hand for like ponytails and stuff and then when i'm trying to wear my hair out with extensions i use the extensions from um zala zala hair extensions and let me just show you guys the box so you guys can kind of get more of a gist of what i'm talking about so i really like the zala hair extensions and i've actually purchased them twice because when i was blonde i bought the blonde hair extensions and um yeah that was a moment and then i dyed them red and i ruined them just like i ruined my hair but that's another story but then i bought them again and the box looks like this um probably have heard of it they even have those installment plans so like even though they're expensive um they, can, they definitely become affordable and you can pay them off like 20 dollars a month or something like that 20 dollars every two weeks through klarna and apps like that but these are the zala extensions and i keep them on hand for ponytails for wearing my hair out for whatever it may be and um yeah i love them so much um they're good quality just take care of them like everything and yeah guys that's pretty much like the gist of my hair products that i'm currently using um i definitely see myself you know accumulating more and more and more but if it ain't broke don't fix it and these are basically what i've been using um as of lately and you know i've used a couple of hair products there's definitely a lot of hair products that i don't have here that i really absolutely love um but these are what i have right now and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i'm actually going to be doing my hair this week so <laughs> can't wait to show you guys how that comes out and yeah when your hair is done you know when you're feeling good so i can't wait but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what else you want to see i'm here twice a week subscribe to my channel my name is renee i make music don't forget so check out my last song it's called go getter i'll leave it in the link down below but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i definitely made a mess it is what it is. Um, if you like this video, leave me a like, comment, subscribe. Mm -hmm.